All right, guys, bear with me because this benefits you. Yes, it's a little bit of a promotion before each video for a minute, but Sarah Monic wanted to partner up with me and uh, give away some gear, which I think is great. They're great over there. First off, uh, the rules. Let me, let me, I'll show you what I got first. They sent over the Sarah Monic Super Cardioid shotgun microphone, the V Mic 5 Pro. This is a really nice freaking on camera microphone. You'll see a lot about this in the video because when I do the video for this mic, I'll also announce who won this microphone. So it'll be gently used one time and then off to you if you win. Then we've got the Soundbird V1 condenser shotgun microphone. This thing is phantom powered or battery powered. Going to do a video on this as well. And then give it away, Anthony Kiedis. Now, currently I'm using the Soundbird T3 from Ceramonic. This is my keeper shotgun mic. I really enjoy this microphone. So T3, Soundbird, Soundbird V1. We don't know what it sounds like yet, but we will. But we're going to give away both of these, both of these mics from Ceramonic. And, uh, you know, you're, you're, you could win one. Here's the rules. All you have to do to be entered to win one of these two microphones is to share your favorite obscure mics video on social media. Whether it's Facebook, Instagram, or Twitter, share that. You could even do TikTok, I guess. But you got to tag me. I've got to see that I've been tagged. I got to see whose name I need to enter into the drawing and we will give these microphones away very soon in a video. I just want to get enough people involved in the giveaway to really, you know, make it a bit of a lottery, just a bit. So share your favorite obscure mics video on social media. You'll be entered to win one of these two mics. If you want to let it be known which one you prefer, go ahead. I'll keep that in mind. Let's get on to the video. What is up, obscure mic people? It is Bart coming at you with another microphone test, demo, review, whatever you want to call it, video. And today we've got what I consider an obscure one from SE Electronics because there's not very many videos out there about this microphone. And it's the SE V3. Everyone shows love to the V7s of the world. Nobody shows love to the V3. So I thought, you know what? The folks at SE have been really cool to me. Let's see if they'll send me over a V3. And uh, they did. So V3, I'll show you the microphone real quick in just a picture. Nothing special. No bells, whistles, nothing like that. Metal body. Really nice. I'll show you the capsule as well. Very standard black capsule. But shock mounted with the same rubber mount that the other se electronic dynamic mics come with and you get a microphone clip very standard you get a bag you get some documentation which i'm not going to show you but this microphone is a cardioid polar pattern handheld dynamic vocal microphone metal pretty good build quality doesn't quite feel as heavy as an se v7 but it still feels pretty good. You still got that red inner lining there under the head basket. 69 bucks. That's what you would pay if you want the SE V3. And I kind of actually like the all black with just the printed SE logo. It's just something a little different. A little different. I dig it. So let's run the microphone through its paces. First, I'm going to do some handling noise. The metal, Again, it doesn't feel like the best they have to offer, but it's pretty good. It still screams quality for the most part. It's not super lightweight. It just, I think we'll hear a little bit of handling noise in comparison to like the V7 video. I think this has a little bit more handling noise, but probably nothing crazy. Let's pass it back and forth now. It definitely picks up at least on my radar here on the vocaster one from focus right but hey it is what it is instant thoughts nice and clear still got some nice warm low end to it which i wasn't expecting because i tested this on a different interface can't remember which one it was but it sounded more thin on that one no processing nothing like that on just raw audio let's go ahead and uh, throw it through some more tests real quick we'll do plosives first peter piper picked a pack of pickled pineapple pizza Peter Piper picked a peck of pickled pineapple pizza. Now, when you get right on top of the SEV3, 
that right there is where it's at. It's still nice and smooth, but it's still clear, but it also picks up a little bit of warmth, not boomy in the slightest, not even V-shaped sounding, just a nice, well-balanced sound when you get it close to your mouth. I like that. That's what she said. Let's go ahead and do some off-axis rejection again. Cardioid polar pattern. We're going to take the microphone and talk into the front of it. Then we're going to go 90 degrees off-axis rejection. 180 degrees off-axis. 90 degrees off-axis. And then slowly back around to the front of the microphone. SE just knows what they're doing. You know, out of all the companies out there that are you hate to say newer because they've been around for a minute, but like newer players in the game, they just know what they're doing. This microphone for $69 sounds better than most $99 handheld dynamics, in my opinion. Is it the best sound I've ever heard? No, but this is pretty good. I mean, 69 bucks. I like this better than most of the handheld dynamics that are on my table. I just think it has a nice, pleasing sound. And I think on my voice, this sounds better actually than the SEV7. That's just my opinion. And I'm sticking with it, rolling with it, rolling in the deep. SEV3. I kind of dig it, man. Again, nothing special cardboard box, but you get the bag, you get the clip. I think you just get a nice vocal sound. I think this would be a really good podcasting mic. I think it sounds uh, very similar to a lot of end addressed broadcast mics that are more budgety like 99 bucks to 150 bucks i think this sounds just as good so for half the price of one of those microphones i think you're getting something really legible and clear and good for podcasting uh also would imagine this is good for singing on stage wouldn't know because no one will hire me to do that i don't know why listen to this sample break stuff Ooh, wah, ah, ah. Hum, dap, da, hum, dap, da, hima. Hum, dap, da, hum, dap, da, ima, go. Do, 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 do. If you can't tell, I've been watching uh, a lot of YouTube videos about new metal, just like teenagers watching new metal videos, uh, musicians reacting to, to their favorite new metal videos, saying what their favorite new metal videos. It holds up better than I ever thought it would. I'm one of those guys that hated it. Now it's like, it's not so bad. A lot of it's, uh, you know, at least energetic and gets you up and moving around. There's not a lot of music these days. Sound like the old guy that, uh, gets you up and moving. So Fred Durst. Thanks, man. Appreciate it. Anyways, SEV three for the simple fact that this is 69 bucks. And I think it sounds really good for that price on the BB SAR. I would give the S E electronics v3 a, a score of let me tell you why first the reason it gets a score mainly the tone of the microphone i dig the sound of my voice coming through this mic the metal could be a little better like the handling noise was definitely evident in my opinion everything else pretty much fine even plosives weren't too terrible about normal dynamic performance in my opinion but use this thing right You'll be in good shape. Great podcasting mic. Great YouTube mic. Probably a great stage vocal mic. And that's probably right where you want to tend. I don't know about voiceover. Don't know about using it on, uh, you know, lots of musical instruments or, or vocals for an album, so to speak. But it's pretty good for 69 bucks. And for that, it gets the score of a 7. Good. Definitely worth buying. Just depends on the tone of your voice. I think it fits mine fairly well. I like the way that I sound on it, but I like the way a lot of mics sound on my voice because they're all fun. They all bring something different to the table. And this thing is smooth. It is not harsh, not boosted too high in the upper frequency. It just sounds really smooth on me. SE, thanks for sending it over. Again, I think I found one V3 video out there on the interwebs. Really happy to get this one on my channel because, again, there's just not much out there about it. And I think it's definitely worth a buy at 69 bucks, despite the handling noise, which a lot of mics suffer from. But that's why we gave it a 7 rather than a 9 or a 10 or even an 8. You know, it just sounds good. Secure mics, SEV3. If you've wondered about how it sounds, you don't have to now. That's what this channel's for. So you can hear this stuff and then project. Uh, you know, whether your voice will sound good on it or not, which is a little tough to do, but 
you got to work with what you got. Skier Mike's, peace out.